what's up guys welcome to geek done right the show where i talk about whatever it is i feel like i'm chris thanks for coming to geek out with me many of you have heard me say this time and time again this is one of my favorite times of year oh yes not because of uh, the holidays so much but because of the deals black friday is awesome anyway so i'm going to do a multi-part series on these black friday deals now because i love sharing these deals with you i think they're great deals uh i want to make sure that you're able to save some money and have some cool stuff i mean maybe there's some stuff that will be able to fit into your budgets and um uh, uh, so we'll, we'll be exploring uh, several things as, as we go on. So once again, this is going to be a multi-part series. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Black Friday TV deals. Uh, so I'm going to be going through a few of the ads and I'm just I'm giving you some food for thought as uh, you are looking at making these TV purchases for yourselves. Uh, I want to make sure that uh, you have... Uh, actually gotten the best deal for you within your budget so let's go ahead and jump into it all right so starting off we're going to look at the uh some of the black friday door busters these are uh i believe generally in store and i want you to um, bring your eyes over and oh you probably already have is this uh 55 inch 4k sharp tv um uh, this does not have a uh, high dynamic range so that's something to keep in mind uh, but it, it's not bad it's not bad to start off with uh, just a, a nice little 4k tv for uh, 298 plus 55 inch i mean it, it's pretty good um just so you know the uh smart functionality is based off of the opera browser so uh, i hear that there's been a few issues with that being um uh, on tvs and, and other devices like that but here's uh the other black friday deals as far as tvs once again these are just like your regular run-of-the-mill 1080p tvs but bring your eyes over here and you see a samsung uh once again reliable brand uh you get their tizen system which which is it's decent it's decent uh so you get their their tizen stuff um 40 inches not too bad not too bad can't hate on that uh 328 dollars though 328 dollars for a 4k tv no high dynamic range i mean I, I gotta say i mean if you're upgrading from a, a 1080p tv a 4k even without hdr is a pretty decent upgrade i mean they're, they're pretty good looking tvs uh also from samsung uh a 58 inch uh 4k tv once again this is not with hdr not with hdr um but still pretty decent uh for 600 bucks uh you'd be hard pressed to find uh a decent tv i mean especially on with a reliable brand like samsung when it comes to the, on their tvs uh for uh, really under 700 dollars um if you want to go big or go home uh once again this is not hdr i'm not sure what model these are uh, but they are definitely not hdr this is a 65 inch for under a thousand i mean pretty good deal if you're looking to just dip your toe into the 4k world not too bad as far as deals go um so there's a, a few other deals over at target uh not incredible deals but you know even still hear me out here Pay no mind to the Polaroids. I'm sorry, but uh, I've taken a look at these myself. They don't look that great uh, as far as their panels go in comparison to the others. Um, but uh, you can already see over here uh, TCL. But look over here. Look over here. Check out uh, how much you're saving. 
$30. So not an incredible sale, but at the same time too, a 49 inch for $350. TCL has been really impressing me lately. Their panels look pretty decent, uh, especially for the price, 120 Hertz refresh rate. And also you get Roku TV built in. That means that the remote is gonna be extremely simple. And also Roku is a great, great great interface i mean i love my roku premiere um it, it's been absolutely fantastic um it's real easy to get around find the apps that you want uh so having that built into a tv is really nice and once again tcl has been really really good uh, this uh does have hdr on it uh, if it's uh, if it's the c series uh i don't know what model this is but if it's the c series then that hdr is actually dolby vision which makes it worth it that makes it worth it absolutely worth it uh, I, I think that's fantastic. I, I, I think it's great. Um, over here, a uh, nice little 55 inch LG TV. LG makes great TVs as well. And they also have the web OS operating system where uh, your remote is almost like a Wiimote. And so that makes it really fun as far as the functionality of it, but it also really simplifies the process too, because when you bring that uh, little mouse pointer down, you, know, you can kind of sweep it through your individual apps. Pretty easy to add new apps, uh, really kind of intuitive. Once again, no high dynamic range, uh, but uh, if you're coming from 1080p, it's not completely necessary. It's just a nice upgrade if you can afford it. Uh, 65 inch Samsung, $850, uh, motion rate 120, no HDR, but reliable brand, I dig it. Same thing with this 49 inch uh, Samsung for $430. Not too bad on those deals, not too bad on those deals from Target. I'm, I'm really um, impressed with some of those. And while they're door busters, I believe those are going to be online. Uh, not necessarily. I don't, I don't see anything saying in store only, but, uh, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section down below. If, if you know any different last but not least, we're going over to Best Buy and there are some great TVs over there. Uh, let me jump over to the door busters, the main door busters, so we can uh, get there. Because this is in store only, but this is a heck of a deal. Um, as far as, uh, like if you're wanting to uh, jump into the 4K, uh, Sharp, um, a 4K TV, um, this has Roku TV on it. And so th this is going to be a great addition. Roku TV, uh, once again, is a really great interface. Uh, this is going to be a pretty decent panel. If you want to wait in line, <laughs> let, let me tell you, uh, because of the fact that this opens at 5 p.m., you're going to need to be out there starting at uh, whew, maybe 5, 6 a.m. on Thanksgiving Day. You're going to be missing out on your Thanksgiving. If it's worth it to you for this kind of a TV, go ahead and do it. I mean, once again, that is an amazing deal. 50 inches of 4K Roku TV, 180 bucks. Not bad. Can't hate on that whatsoever. Uh, look over here. Uh, this is a door buster. It does not say in-store only. So this looks like you can order it online. This is a 65 inch um, 4K TV. This does not have HDR, but I mean, uh, Samsung TVs, you're, you're looking at reliability here. Uh, you're looking at the Tizen interface, uh, which is pretty decent, not too bad. If you don't mind going down a, a few inches, like five inches, then this 60 inch uh, 4K TV from Sony is a pretty good deal at $600. Now, if you if you look here, uh, <laughs> you can see the, the differences. I mean, $320 uh, for this is actually a pretty good deal considering that the regular one is about, I think, almost $500. Look at this, $400 savings for 60 inch uh, Sony. These panels look awesome. Well, let, me, let me just tell you. 
uh, these panels look really, really good. Uh, it's the 720 series. Uh, it does not have HDR, but it uh, does have uh, some really great uh, features on it. Uh, ju just some food for thought there. Just some food for thought. I mean, like, uh, I'm not sponsored by Sony, but Sony, if you're watching, <laughs> hook a brother up. Come on. <laughs> That would be awesome. All right, let's jump over to TV and home theater. This is where the other TV deals are going to lie. And this is where you're probably going to see like the biggest savings as far as uh, how much is being cut off of these TVs. Now, these are also going to be in the higher price ranges, but they're also really great TVs with uh, really great features. Um, so let uh, let's just kind of go left to right, starting with the top. Uh, 65 inch uh, 4K. These are with HDR. Uh, 65 inch uh, for about 1300. Uh, 55 inch for about 900. Not bad. Um, <clears throat> once again, with Samsung, great panels, great reliability. But then you come over to Sony and you're seeing greater savings. Uh, I mean, uh, these are uh, with, of course, HDR coming down the 75 inch for under two thousand dollars. I mean, you're having an eight hundred dollar savings. Sony uh, does you know, generally cost a little bit more uh, until like with uh, Samsung, you go with their QLEDs. I mean, those are still, I think, around three thousand dollars. But two thousand dollars for a 75 inch is um, pretty good uh, once again with high dynamic range uh, you have uh, nice processing it has a built-in Chromecast um, so really uh, really nice features on it um, and then these are just your standard 4k TVs um, $550 for the sharp uh, 4k Ultra HD, uh, so your 70 inch for $1,200. I mean, that $600 savings is nothing to sneeze at. I mean, that uh, that's some pretty good deals as far as these go. Um, we're kind of going on down into like the regular 4K. Um, still worth it if you're wanting to jump up from 1080p. I, it's always great to jump from 1080p to 4K. But uh, just make sure that when you're looking at the TVs, you're going with brands that have some reliability and, and things like that. Personally, I don't recommend going with Insignia, even though they have Roku TV on them. Uh, if you want to, not a big deal. It's going to be fine. Um, but uh, I personally would recommend more along the lines of Samsung uh, or check out TCL. TCL, once again, for the price, they are really amazing TVs. I really, really, really like them. But once again, for a standard 4K TV, uh, $497 uh, for Samsung 55 inch, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, I mean, one of the biggest advantages is, uh, look at the bezel. The bezel on that is just so small on both of these TVs. They, they basically look the same, um, but yeah, not bad at all. Uh, the Sharp 43 inch uh, with Roku TV, uh, that's not uh, just the 1080p. All these are 1080p TVs. Uh, so uh, if you're if you're wanting to save some money, have a decent panel for your 1080p, uh, these uh, these are going to do you just fine. But I recommend this year. This year is the year to jump up to 4K. I mean. Uh, at least uh, dip your toe in to begin with. I mean, with the deals like these that that we're seeing, it's really worth it to kind of jump into 4K. Uh, when you can afford it, uh, jump, go up to HDR, but specifically you're gonna wanna look for something with HDR 10 or Dolby Vision if you're gonna be jumping up to HDR. That doesn't mean that uh, these are terrible TVs. I mean, these are, are great ways to, to jump into the 4K with HDR, but 
uh, if you're looking for a really significant upgrade, if you already have an HDR TV, uh, I wouldn't necessarily go with these. I would go with uh, the higher models, spend a little bit more money and get something with HDR 10 or Dolby Vision. Dolby Vision uh, to me is the best of the HDR. Uh, the, uh, they're really starting to come into uh, some great standards when it comes to HDR now. And uh, for me, Do Dolby Vision just looks awesome. Really, really awesome. But those are the deals for this Black Friday as far as uh, TVs go. If there's any more TV deals that I see, I might post them onto my Twitter or um, I might do another video. We'll see. That's going to do it for this episode of Geek Done, right? Hey, so what TV deals have you seen? Uh, do you, Have you found any that you think are better than these? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I might feature it in an extra video or something. And please make sure to hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe. And also, I'm going to probably be dropping more Black Friday videos. Uh, talking about video games uh, and consoles. Talking about uh, home theater. Talking about um, uh, a lot of... Uh, a few other deals as well uh so make sure to hit that notifications uh thing so that you're notified when i drop more videos uh around black friday i usually tend to put out a few more videos just because uh, i really want y'all to know about these deals so just keep it locked in because there's always more videos coming from geek done right until next time y'all take it easy peace